Before we hop into the exploration of the PlayStation 3 in 2021, I want to throw two things out here. One, this is part one of a two-part video. Uh, the next part will be up in the coming weeks because we do want to go back, re-explore a bunch of stuff with the PlayStation 3, go more in depth because we didn't actually get to the PlayStation Store in this video, look at some stuff like that and some more games that are highlights of the franchise. And also it is worth noting that there is a full complete cut of this video actually over on the Patreon. I did this because it was originally just way too long and, and just really really just tons of gameplay and all kinds of other stuff. Um, it was like an hour and 30 minutes. So if you are interested in that, be sure to check out the link in the description down below to the Patreon. Every time you help support us there, it helps out the channel a lot because YouTube is a fickle mistress and it is all over the place. So we appreciate you very much. We hope you enjoy it. Have a fantastic day and enjoy the video. Okay. This is like the hardest thing ever to like get this to start. <laughs> I know, I know. We're on the PS3. Um, obviously. We're gonna be hanging out, playing some games, just some stuff like that. Uh, looking over the PlayStation Store. We wanted to start with Modern Warfare 2. This is probably my favorite game of all time. Yeah, I know it is. You love this game. I really love it too, but you're like the mega fan. It's either this for me or Assassin's Creed Origins. Okay. Right. John Sony does not want you to record this video because it would look bad on the PS3. <laughs> That's true. He like just wants no, to sweep actually, it under the rug. It's actually Jim Ryan because he doesn't want you to know that any games were produced before Bloodborne. He's like, oh well, uh, I, you know, I was playing this old game, Ratchet and Clank, on the PS4, and I was like, who can even tell what's going on? What is this thing? Ew! It's like uh, Jim Ryan, uh, Bloodborne is also an older game now. He's Ew. like, mm. he's like, no, it's not. It came out in 2020. It's a good game. <laughs> Is there like an option to turn off like voice? Okay. Let's just shut this off because I don't want to hear like how I'm the N word and all this stuff. You didn't turn it off though. Well, you, I don't. You can't like totally turn it off? I don't know. <laughs> I mean, that's the bottom of it. The game like really wants you to hear the N word. <laughs> it's like, come on. Wait, it says there's zero players online. Really? There's no one? That's what it says. I don't think that's true. Yeah, how is like nobody online? Nine potential games found. Nice. There's always people on on the Xbox 360. Any potential games now. Nice. Oh, oh, dude. I hate Rundown. Do you want to play this? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay, if they ever remaster this game, I would be at like 100% mass 24-7. They did. They did. If they ever remastered the multiplayer. The what? The multiplayer. The what? The uh, campaign. We remastered that. Okay. That's I'm remastered. Hard. I'm really hard right you now. You don't get custom classes until you level up more. Whoa. These graphics look kind of bad, but this game is amazing. And that lag looked pretty bad, too. Oh, jeez. Jeez. Okay, just so you know, I have, I'm not kidding, 500 megabits a second. I think it's your actually, internet. Actually, it's like 700 now because they upgraded name? it. So, anything happening here is either the PS3 or the... Okay, I need to switch guns. Let's try this one. Okay, all right. It was the gun. It was, it the, was gun's the gun's fault. fault. It was the gun's fault. Gun's fault, I agree. What does it feel like to be back on here? I mean, I guess we're on the PS3. It but... feels amazing. Does it? Yeah. Well, I, I, yeah, I've never played the cape, geez. Do you feel like perhaps you are someone who was handed a shield you didn't feel worthy of, and now you've gone through a whole character arc, and you do? I do, yes. Okay, I do cool. feel like that. Oh, oh, I hit someone. Hey, I actually hit someone. You got a hit marker. Nice. Oh, dude. Nice. Sorry, that was like really exciting. Personal victory. What the heck is with the lag there? I don't know. <laughs> these, <laughs> these matches are really bad lag. Look, this multiplayer needs a remaster. Like, this is bad. No, 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 no. We got the campaign. We're good. Yes, yes, you're right. Campaign only thing good. They added hit markers to the campaign. So we're good. Oh, I got dude. another kill. U UAV, UAV. Dude, I killed Ironhide. You have a UAV. Oh, nice. nice. You're like that guy from that movie. Uh, yeah, like, yes, that one guy from that one movie. Sentinel <laughs> Prime. <laughs> Whoa, oh, geez. geez. Okay, there he is. There he is. You see him? I do. Oh, no, 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 no. I can't even, like, back oh, up, dude. Back up. I have an airdrop. I need to get out of here. I need to get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> I like how I have a four kill streak, and it's like, oh man! <laughs> well, yeah, it's a big deal for us. Uh, oh. How do you make this thing go faster? Right trigger, or R1. 
Okay, it doesn't I, matter. I, I got the it. kill anyway. Doesn't matter. You did it. I did it. I forget that we're on like a not real console with the R1 being the fire button. <laughs> nice. I like this camping strategy. This is pretty good. Thanks. The lag is so bad. I can see that. Oh, dude, I got a kill, and then nice. I died from a noob, too. You almost got like, a what nuke. what a douchebag. You were so close to a nuke. <laughs> almost got a nuke. <laughs> <laughs> you were so close, man. R1, R1. I did. Nice. The lag, dude. Nice. The lag. Oh, no. How did he not die? Well, because we've got the laggiest connection in the world here. <laughs> I know. We literally are, like, having to route through 30 proxy servers to fight, like, John Mother Doer 2969. <laughs> Can you imagine how awesome this would be, though, with, like, modern oh, warfare no! graphics? I'm leaving that guy there to die in my place. Very but, cool. But yes, I can imagine. And imagine, and like... I don't need it. I like the leg. Imagine, like, uh... Uh... Wall mounting and... Wall marting? And wall marting and, like, uh... Woman mounting and, like... You know, Jeez, others, other cool lag. stuff. Look at my connection. It's four bars. I have one of the best connections in the server. Is this still a? Is this still like the connection where it has a host, or is there? Yeah. Like, is so there's not just like a general host. No, it's connected to no, someone. It's connected to someone. So the person who's the host probably is one of those two bar people that like really needs to get out of like the year 1995. Nice shooting. <laughs> Oh, dude! I hit him. Nice. We have, like, Why? George W. Bush here. No, he was recently on Jimmy Kimmel, though. What do you say on Jimmy Kimmel? Just I, like, I don't care at all about Jimmy Kimmel. Oh, I hate Jimmy Kimmel as well. But uh, Jimmy Kimmel just made jokes about all of George Bush's, like, mistakes that he made. And George Bush thought it was funny. It is kind of funny. Did he, like, say, like, hey, 9-11 uh, was totally justified. <laughs> and George Bush is like, yeah! Sorry, I'm not too. I'm not cowboy enough for George W. <laughs> no, nobody, nobody said that. Actually, surprisingly, oh, okay. <laughs> surprisingly, no one tried to justify 9/11 on Jimmy Kimmel. <laughs> not sure how that made it through the cracks, but it did somehow. <laughs> I don't get it. <laughs> Jimmy Kimmel just goes on there. He's like, "Did you think 9/11 was justified because you're balding? Because you're balding? <laughs> hey, what's your thoughts on slavery? Did we do nothing wrong?" <laughs> It's like, what? Hey! <laughs> oh, no. Oh, nice. yeah! There has to be a trophy for that. Can you imagine Flash yourself and still get the kill? <laughs> it's just called, like, uh, you tried or something. But, yeah, I think just at the end of the day, they, I'm going to campaign this for this my whole life until they finally give it to me, but they really need to remaster the multiplayer of this. And I think the only reason why they don't, which is why it makes me so mad. <laughs> that was epic. Which is why it makes me so mad, though, is because the only reason why they don't is then they know people would not play Cold War. Like, if they had, like, a full HD remaster of this game, no one would play Cold War anymore. No, they wouldn't. Or the new Modern Warfare or anything. Right. That's why, that's why when Modern Warfare got remastered and they threw it in as, like, a bundle for an Infinite Warfare... No one played Infinite Warfare either. Everyone just played Modern Warfare because it's like a 300 times better game. Oh, you have the copycat. You should use that. You should take someone's class at some point. Oh, I didn't know I had the copycat. Yeah, you, you hold triangle. Oh, okay. But anyway, I was just saying that this game, playing it at someone's house got me interested in COD and in the PS3. And after that... When I finally got my 360, because that was the console I had ended up going with in high school, Yeah, I ended up getting this game. Like, within within a window of two months, I bought MW2, MW3, and Black Ops 1. Nice. All just to play the online separately. <laughs> well, you picked some good choices. Yeah, I mean, like, I adore this game. Yeah. But I'm awful. I'm horrible. I'm bad on the. I am. I know this looks bad. What, just make sure to take someone's class next time if you okay. get sniped, because they have a better class. Okay, you're playing on a DualShock Three. You're used to an Xbox 360 remote. The lag is awful. Yes, this is horrible lag. And this version of the game is not as responsive anyway. Right. So no, it doesn't look that bad. 
It looks, this looks really bad, especially when I was hyping myself up and it's like, dude, my favorite map ever. This, I love this. I'm so good. And but then it's like, cut didn't to me. You say you were like, good. I said that. Cut to me like getting destroyed. I was going to tell you, by the way, one of the best things about <clears throat> um, this system yeah. was that it has access to so many PlayStation 1 and 2 games, mainly PS1. And a lot of them are rare, actually. So, like, for example, Mega Man Legends here, right? Yeah. This game is like, Eighty dollars a lot of times to a hundred. Right. Silent Hill, the first one, is not that expensive yet, but I guarantee it will be when this shuts down. Mega Man Legends Two is like an over two hundred dollar game half the time. Jeez. Um, the first Metal Gear Solid. The Metal VR, Gear Solid missions. VR missions. VR missions. Adventures of Tron Bond. This is a lot more money. It's a spin off of Mega Man Legends. It's like three hundred dollars. Is that the misadventures of uh, the? YouTuber John Tron? No, it's not Do John Tron debating anyone. Oh, okay. <laughs> Dark Stalkers, the first Dark Stalkers, <laughs> which is pretty cool. Legend of Dragon, what? Nothing. <laughs> Alundra, Castlevania Chronicles, Dino Crisis, Dino Crisis 2. You'd like these games. You actually fight dinosaurs. Ooh, that sounds kind of cool. You should actually try this. This was made by, I believe, Capcom. Okay. And it's similar to Resident Evil. The Are these characters Eagles. in Marvel vs. Capcom? No. Somehow the Dino Crisis protagonist didn't make it into Marvel vs. Capcom. That's Again, a shame. like I said before about the uh, Jimmy Kimmel somehow not reaching to justify 9-11, not sure how that slipped through the cracks for Marvel vs. Capcom, but know. somehow it did. Um, and here we are. It seems like a, a epic. That's it? Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. Did you know this ga game Whoa. contains violence and gore? What, do we have, like, the Craters of Cod here? Like, no, we Hey, actually, this game could be we offensive. Have Disney Plus when they put on an old movie. When they put like, on did Peter you know Pan. That this, did you know this song is actually bad? Because these people aren't actually that color, and, like, we shouldn't have said that. And it's like, you mean your grandfather who animated this movie, his best friend who did it, shouldn't have said that? Wow, you're right. <laughs> like, wow. I didn't save, by the way. They're, they're, I don't have, like, a... Oh, I thought I, oh, I thought you already started this. No, no, no. I was going to tell you, though, one of the best things about the PS3, like I said, is that it has access to all these games, and some of them are very rare. Like, I know Herx Adventures, I think is what it was called. Yeah. That game's a few hundred dollars in and of itself. Right. So there's a lot of stuff like that. Yeah, I feel like that was the same. Not, not that the uh, price was the same, but that's the same with, like, the Wii U. I know like, everyone got like triggered because I even mentioned the Wii U. But, no, I agree with you. It's so there, good for old games. Yeah, there's a lot of really old games like Game Boy Advance games, stuff like that on there that, you know, is pretty cool. That even if you don't like the console, you can at least buy it to play those old games. Yeah. Well, what's sad is that... Okay, let's just skip this. Can you skip this? I don't know. Press start. We have like DJ Kirk. <laughs> the sad thing is that the PS3 store and the... I guess, I don't know, the Wii U store are both better, let's play it, let, let this play, oh, yeah. are both better than their next generation stores. Yes. In terms of what they offer you. Yeah. So, like, the PS3 store offers you, like, so many PS1 classics and rare P PlayStation games. Like, there's games on the PS3 store, even for PS3, that are a ton of money. So, like, uh, an example of that would be Tokyo Jungle. That's a ton of money physically. Right. You can buy it on the store for very cheap. Um... And that's a PS3 game. A lot of the games that are more expensive on PS4 to get a physical of, you can't actually get on the store unless it was like a limited run game. Mm -hmm. You know, like Dragon's Lair, which I have the physical of. Yes, that's Big cheaper flex. on the store. Yeah, I know, huge flex. But like um, Godzilla, right? that's not even on the store anymore. Right. I have it. I know you do. I wish I did. <laughs> that, is, that is my weird flex. Yeah, well, that's like... <clears throat> That's like the one game, the one thing you own that I wish I had. So are you jealous? No, Woo. because I have a lot of other stuff that you'll oh, never. Oh man! Pay for. Like for example, Dragon Slayer. You're not going to pay over a hundred dollars. Well, that. I wouldn't buy the game anyways. Why? Because I don't like it as much as you. Oh, you wouldn't even buy the digital. I don't know. Maybe I buy the digital, but oh. I want to spend two hundred dollars to buy the physical. I didn't spend that much. Buy 199. I spent like 140. But to be fair, I wouldn't buy the Up Steelbook for 90 dollars either. Well, okay, that's true. Okay, let's um exit. How do I move? quit? Uh, I think it's the oh. arrows probably. Whoa, this is like, <laughs> what is like this? It's tank controls. This is like what old is <laughs> that's old Resident Evil. They were really hard to move around. Jeez, nice ass. 
Is that uh, sexist? Yeah. I was is. talking about the man. Okay, that's not sexist anymore. <laughs> well, this is like bad controls, I'm going to be honest here. Yeah, I mean, it's how all the old RE games were, too. But they're still fun games. Yeah. <laughs> Give me this. Give me this. <laughs> that was, like, pitiful. <laughs> Okay, let's just... <laughs> Look, I'm assuming it's a good game, but... It is a good game. I am assuming, but they really need to fix the controls. They're not going to go back and fix the <laughs> controls. Like, hey, guys, we released a massive 100 gigabyte update to Dino Crisis. <laughs> the game is not even a gigabyte big, by the way. Oh. Uh, let's, let's try Dino is Crisis. Is the controls too. better? I don't know. Okay, I just want to play the game. No, they're like, hey, wanna wanna go into our really intense uh, why why story? is this why is this Jurassic Park two starring cockroaches? Because cockroaches just, are cool. What is going on here? Why did we time travel? <laughs> We're doing like Emmett Brown here. Who? <laughs> the Doctor from Back to the Future. Oh. <laughs> I thought you were talking about someone else. No, I was not. I was very concerned. No, the doctor from Back to the Future is named Emmett Brown. Uh, by the way, no, the controls are the exact Okay, same. I don't want to play this. I'm sorry. I'm assuming it's a good game. I, I will give you that. I am sure it's a great game. It's just the controls are so bad that I could not even know how to play. Well, you'd get used to it. Oh, dude, did you see that? I did. You're like Michael Jackson here. It's electronically locked. You may be able to short it with Reyna's stun gun. They should remaster this game. Like, oh, sorry, remake the game. Like on the PS5. Oh, that that's the wrong gun. <laughs> I was trying to find the gun. <laughs> Who are we dealing with here? I don't know. I was trying to find the gun. I got the med pack S. Whoa, a dinosaur! I literally cannot even tell what's going on here. What are you, Jim Ryan? What's with you hating on Cosmic <laughs> Games today? You're saying you could, like, somehow love this? I'm saying I think it's cool. Okay. I mean, like, who doesn't want to put down endangered species? Uh, I can't do this only, in real life without getting in trouble. Only so. losers. Well, nice you know, climbing. You only get in trouble if you get caught. So... You can still do it. I don't know why they like a the fetus. main character from Alien, the like face eaters or whatever. Oh, Gaia Seed. Okay. Gaia. Hey, oh, hey. I've actually heard of this game. You have? Yeah, I have heard of Gaia Seed. Wow. I can't believe you've heard of something that is uh, not the most mainstream thing in existence. <laughs> Boy, someone's overcompensating with that ship. <laughs> I don't know the controls. This is like Galaga. Yeah, it's supposedly a really good game. Okay. This doesn't look very good. Okay, well, <laughs> are you being serious, Jim? I'm joking. Okay, settle down. No one Jim Ryan here playing games with me? What is this? Come what's on. happening here? I don't even know what's going on. Who even likes this Why crap? would anyone want to play this old game? I think game? anyone who plays this game is a cuck and I will sleep with their wife. I'm just going to sleep with their wife anyways. <laughs> Jim oh, Ryan. Oh, oh, upgrade, upgrade. Why do you upgrade? Uh, oh, man. Jim You're Ryan, so when he sees someone playing uh, Red Dead Redemption 2. Wow, what is this? <laughs> I can't tell what's happening here. What is going on? <laughs> what is this? Who wants to play these games? Is like, this even a game? It's like, hey, this game came out after Bloodborne. I feel like what I'm is looking going at on? my wife's EKG results. It's not a game. What's that? Oh, what? <laughs> nice. What? What, is it, what is her EKG results at? <laughs> well, you know what? I don't know if you don't understand science. That's your problem. Because she has, like, a heart condition? Well, I didn't make that joke, but you did. Thanks. Are you, like, making fun of her because she has a condition? You did that. I didn't do that. How do you do intense fire? I don't I don't know. Whoa. Oh, oh dude, cool. I can use, like, the, the Death Star cannon. Oh, you can just hold it down. You gotta admit, this is cool. It's okay. <laughs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> it's cool. It is cool. Okay. I like right, it. Jim. It is literally like a better version of Galaga. Okay, that's a that's a strong statement. I really like Galaga. I mean, I like Galaga, but it didn't really age very well. Okay, well, like, neither did your mom, but she's still a dime piece. Well, okay. All right, all right. You lost. We're moving on to a different game. <laughs> okay. We're moving on to a different We're gonna game. We're going to quit that game. <laughs> 
We're just rapid firing through games right. here. We're but showing it was cool. people some old games. It was cool. It was cool. And then we're going to move back to PS3 games soon. Okay. Okay. Promise. Promise. Let's put in uh, Godfall, the greatest PlayStation game of all time. No. That's it. Okay. This is some kind of... Oh, this was made by the people who made Dark Souls. Oh, really? Yeah, do you want to try it? We have, like, made by the Hardy Boys. <laughs> this was... <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, I think this was made by From Software, I think. Okay. Or, like, what became From Software is my understanding. Okay. Someone in the comments... No, it's actually made by... Dup, 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 dup. What were they like? No, it's actually made by... Dup, 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 dup. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, look. Oh, jeez. Ow! Sorry, sorry, sorry. Ah! I your cock. Ah! Okay, ah. check this out. Dude, this is so epic. This is a knight who needs to shit. Look at how he walks. Dang. Wow. Oh, man. Why are you being mean to old games today? <laughs> <laughs> it's literally from software that made this. Okay. That but, makes it good. But it's not Dark Souls, so that makes it bad. Good. No, 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 Jim, it's not Bloodborne, therefore. Oh, bad. okay. <laughs> oh, jeez, did you see that guy booking it? <laughs> <laughs> he has to shit so bad. Yeah, what is, like, his leg broken? Okay, that was a problematic hand symbol. He's just like... <laughs> Shadow Tower. Um, I don't know if this is a good game, but I heard it's relentlessly hard. Okay. Like, stupidly difficult. Okay. Deep in the forest. That's what they call the main character's mom. Okay. Forest? Yeah. And you're deep in her? Yeah. Okay. There was once a town beside the thing. But that's the thing. Do you notice how you can already tell similarities between, like, the intro to Demon Souls and this? Yeah. I mean, like, this is obviously a much earlier thing. Yeah, it has... Sorry for that yawn. That's not, no one it has some uh, really... Professionals here. It has some really weird, like, music that's, like, unusually happy. <laughs> <laughs> hey, ready to attack the shadow tower with demons? Like, do 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 do. It's a very happy game. I'm assuming it is. It's a very happy game. Are you like a From Software fanboy? I actually kind of am. And also, these games are again very expensive. What is this? Is this like a first-person game? <gasps> so I just died. He just like calmed. Oh, oh, I have to do a new game if I want to play again. <laughs> you die once? Hey, you want to start over? Yeah. I took three <laughs> steps. I couldn't figure out how to look down. Why is it in first person? Can you put a third person? No. Okay. I don't think I can. Okay. Do I... Can I skip this this time? No. <laughs> can you imagine? <laughs> Watch the intro Can you imagine? <laughs> Well, they have, like, the worst, like, camera angles of all time. I know. I know. And then we've got, like, this weird woman getting ready to, like, touch a sleeping child. <laughs> it's like, get out of here, man. We have, like, Ghislaine Maxwell here. I don't remember the That's Joker. the uh, Epstein's personal oh. assistant lady oh, that's look. now in prison. There's a button to hold to look down. Nice. And to look up. L2 to look up. Okay. R2 to look down. So can you go into that door? Nice! You made it through the doorway. That's pretty cool. Okay. You know, for when this game came out, which I'm assuming is really old, it doesn't look horrible. Uh -huh. But the uh, first person choice here was a bad choice. I agree, and I... Oh. Whoa, what is that? Ah, uh, scary is what it is. We're gonna have, like, muck. Jeez. Oh, jeez. I think you have to look down and slash. Like... Okay. Yeah, it's sad. There was a time in our lives, in everyone else's life, where they bought this game at the store... And they turn, they put it in the, the console, and they were like, whoa, look at these graphics. Yeah. And they thought that this game was, like, the greatest looking, not, not this game specifically, but PlayStation 1 games were, like, the greatest looking games of all time. I'm poisoned, so I think I'm just going to die. Okay. And I think, that, I think that's a very sad fact. 
that we used to think this looked good. Yeah, we used to think this was like the most realistic thing <sighs> ever, and like, wow, this is so cool. And, and then now, quitting. now like going back to it, it's like, oh boy. Yeah. No, I agree. Also, by the way, Shadow Tower is supposed to be a fun game too, but it's so hard that I'm not gonna bother with it right now. Right. Just say. <laughs> Okay. All right. You wanted to see Metal Gear real quick. Yeah, let's see Metal Gear very quick. And then let, let's see Metal Gear. Obviously, it's worth pointing out the old Resident Evils are on here. Um, Persona 2. This game's like $500. Wow. You can Jeez. get it for like 10 on here. How old is this game? Um, it's or, I mean, I mean, how long is the game I meant? Um, that I don't know, okay. actually. I mean, I think it's like... 40 hours or 50 hours or something. Jeez. Because the new Persona games are like 500 hours. Yeah. Um, Metal Gear Solid. Do you like Extreme? No. <laughs> the game's already hard enough as it is. It's impossible already. We beat it on the Let's Play channel. Oh, we did? I'm joking. Did the game freeze? I tried to skip this. So let's... Oh, okay. <laughs> I was like, game barely even started. Also, check this out. It's stuck in 4.3 in this version. What's the situation, Snake? Huh. All right. So if I skip ahead, by the way, this does look decent. Yeah, that looks that looked fine. That looks okay. But wow. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Do you see what I mean? This looks bad. Hey, look a ration. Down there in the water. Do you see that? I do. Yeah, I was trying to get. Down I don't there. think we got this on our let's play. Well, we got it now, so we yeah, redeemed ourselves. We did. By the way, I still love Metal Gear. If you don't have the ability to play it on PC, I don't think that these, um, you know, graphical issues are a problem. Right. Really. Like, on, this is, on the PC. No, 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 no. I'm saying, like, I still... This is worth playing. Yes, Yeah, it's, I, I think the graphics are bad, but it's not game-breaking. Right, and it's not a huge deal that it doesn't look as smooth as it does right. on PC. Yeah, there's definitely some games back then where the graphics would have just been a bother. But this game is not bad. So, I will say that, but it definitely does look worse. Oh, then on the integral PC version? Yeah, then like the one we played. I agree. You can definitely see a difference. Yeah, and you can see a difference too in a minute here when Liquid goes up the elevator. Yeah, exactly. Um, I'm waiting to get to that point. Don't you have to try to go on the elevator first? I did try. Oh. Were you, like, humping the ground? Yeah. Nice. Uh, I think huh. I think they said to hide for a minute. Okay. And you wait for the elevator to come down, I thought. We're doing, like, Sniper Wolf here having to hide for, like, 40 minutes. I'm a very impatient guy. Well, that's what I thought you did. I need things to happen, like, right now. Well, did, I thought we didn't hide there before. I thought we hid, like, in the back in our Let's Play. I don't oh, geez, remember, though. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Okay. What the heck? Oh, stand up. Oh, jeez. What's going on? I couldn't move. <sighs> wow. I like the music from this game. It reminds me of Brawl. Yeah, well, because Brawl took it from this. Nice. Here we go, here we go. Nice. Here we go. I didn't remember how to trigger that. I don't think you were supposed to get seen, though, really. Oh, really? Yeah, but I, oh, I mean, it, it doesn't worked. matter. It worked. But I thought that Liquid would go up the elevator. Maybe he does after you? Do you have to, like, kill that guy? No. Okay. That guy should move. Okay, yep. Here we go. What's your speed running record on this game? Literally, I beat it one time. <laughs> oh. What Before be, that, I had just watched it. What would be your speed running record? Whatever the Let's Play is. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Um, yeah, I'm a big fan of speed running, though. Everyone knows it. If you, if you don't beat a game within an hour, we're not friends. Yeah. I personally, I agree with that. So speaking of Metal Gear, should we put in Metal Gear 4? Yes. Let's do that, because Metal Gear 4, I love this game. Not to be, like, weirdly sentimental here, but 
Before my dad passed away, I made him watch me play this entire game. <laughs> Why'd you make him? I forced him into it. I, was, I like sat him down and took out my knife and was like, you're going to watch this with me now. Because he was like, oh, Metal Gear Solid, that looks really cool. And I was like, yeah, you should watch me play. And I didn't tell him what he was getting into with like how long it was. <laughs> He's like, oh, yeah, sure. And he watched it for hours. And then like, I remember one time. I had to go to a class, I think. Like, it w I was in college. But I think you were going to say clan meeting. No. <laughs> okay, continue. <laughs> this is going to go on the channel. you got to be careful <laughs> here. I'm sorry. I had to go to a class for college, and I remember that we had to stop because there was like a 39-minute cut scene. Jeez. And we didn't have time for it. We had to watch it later. Jeez. Start with save data? Epilogue? Yeah, I beat the game. Nice. Wait, how many hours did you put into it, would you say? Mm, I don't know. Back in 2016, you beat yeah, this. Yeah. Nice. Really Very good cool. game. Love it. Very cool. Really good game. I sound unconvinced, but I mean it. <laughs> he has a nice butt. Well, this looks a lot better than the original. <laughs> what the heck? It is a lot better than the original. Nice. I thought this would be like an actual gun range, like not like in the weird animus loading screen from Assassin's Creed. Well, Assassin's Creed? <laughs> Assassin's Creed. <laughs> oh, okay, I thought you were like a German here. <laughs> what? Oh, that's cool. Biological warfare, epic. Nice. The Geneva Convention can suck my balls. Not in this universe, it didn't happen. Nice. I'm the history major, I can confirm that. Oh, you also have an iPod. Look at oh, that. Oh, dude. You yeah, can you pick can. songs? Yeah, you can. Uh, what music is on here? Uh I don't I don't know how to do it. Um Oh. Oh, it's an iPod like Yeah, it's like the old iPod. Now I have to click in on music. Artists. Are these just like all Japanese artists? I think so. Oh. Okay. Oh, dude, you can go to Metal Gear Music. So you can go to, like, Metal Gear Solid 2. Level 3 warning. Oh, this is awesome. Yeah. This is actually really cool. I don't want to play it just in case there's some kind of copyright thing, but... Okay. But yeah, in general, this game is great. And this game never left the PS3 ever to anything. It's not on PC. It's not on PS4, PS5. Hmm. If you don't have a PS3 or, like, you you can't play it at all, but you can play it on PS now if you want to deal with the thing being garbage. Right. So, if the PS3 ever... If the PS3, if they did, like, that dumb thing with the battery, right? Where that went out that you are telling me about? Mm -hmm, the CMOS battery, yeah. Yeah, would you be able to play this game still? Um... Or would you be able to play, like, physical games? Physical, yes. But you can't, like, save them? Uh, correct. Well, no, 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 you can save them, you just... Oh, wait, I don't want to watch the epilogue. Is this going to be the epilogue? It, like, tells the whole the whole game. <laughs> oh, no, it looks Gossip? like... Gossip? What is this? What is this? There's a lot of like weird um video stuff in this game. Huh. Okay, so Epic Gamer moment there. Here I'm Snake. Also you can crouch and move in this game. That's you don't just awesome. have to run. That's awesome. Yes. How's the sniping in this? Do you have to like is it dumb controls? No, it's good. Also you can call Otacon, check it out. Why is Otacon still in this? Because he's your friend. Some of these controls are new, so it's best if you... Is Otacon just in every game? Um, no, he's in the Solid Snake games. Oh. So I have my stun knife, and that's it right now. Is Roy Campbell in this? Yes. What about Deep Throat? No. <sighs> what about Mei Ling? Uh, sadly, no. Okay. But I love this game. And this game, again, it's still one of those things that's basically only a PS3 thing, you know? Right. I mean, yes, they're finally getting it working good with, um, you know, with the emulation and stuff now on PC, but other than that, this is it. Right. Yeah, it's one of those things that I think it's sad that the 
the... I mean, I know systems have to die at some point, but it's kind of sad that uh, Jim Ryan and people at Sony just want to, like, kill the PS3 randomly. Yeah. Because the thing that I think a lot of those people don't realize is that people... That was like literally the least stealthy thing I've ever seen in my life. Extremely stealthy. A lot of those people don't realize is like some people still like playing these games. I know Jim Ryan thinks like literally the newest game ever is the only important thing in all of existence, but it's like some people like these games. And if they just kill the system, you're not going to be able to go back and play Metal Gear Solid 4. Especially when they don't ever remaster it. No, they're not. Also, this is one of the worst things about this game, as much as I love it, is it cuts to cutscenes a lot. Like, I took, like, ten steps. Right. And it cuts to cutscenes again. I mean, it's basically the beginning is the most like this, but still. But yeah, I agree completely. I think that game developers, well, console developers, are way too focused on murder our old things so people play our new thing. Yes. And I think that instead, if you're not an idiot... That should make you more wary about buying new things than it should, you know, forcing you to get them, right? Right. Like, look at all the people who just never even bought the PS4 generation. There's a lot of them mm -hmm. who just stayed here and right. still are here. Right. You know, and a lot of people stayed here and still are here because this was, like, one of the last generations of gaming before every little aspect was monetized. Right. Where it's like you take two steps in a game and they're like, your shoelace is wearing out. Don't you want to pay 25 cents to fix that? Right. Or, hey, I see your energy meter's low. You want to fix that? Like, even there's actual console games now that do those mobile game tropes. Yeah. And people are just kind of going along with it. Also, check this out. This is fucked up. Jeez. I always thought this was really dope. Hey, this is one of the cooler, like, sci-fi games, I think. Yeah, we're dealing with, like, the Robocop robot here. They have weirdly sexual legs. Yeah, I was just about to comment on that. Like, what's with those legs? I don't know. But, uh, all of these people are just bone. Yeah. Okay, so... Also, I like how you're just called Old Snake. <laughs> oh, I like Snake. how you can see your stress level, too. Yeah, and you do... You do not want to fight those guys. So you see the camouflage? Look, it shows you, like, what percentage camouflage you're at. Yeah. In the upper right. That's kind of cool. Yeah, it's really cool. Also, you'll really like the suit in this game. I'm trying to get you... I'm trying to get us a little deeper in. Nice. That's what she said. All right, we're going to go by here. Oh, we do not want to do that. Jeez. Okay, you didn't really see me. Good. I'm glad we have another cutscene. <laughs> yep, that's the game, but Yeah, I yeah, I agree with that. It's you know, I I understand people that want to play the new stuff. Like I love the PS5. I think the games are kind of bare right now. Like the only good games on there are like Valhalla, Demon Souls, Miles. Like those are good, but other than that, there's not really any good games on the PS5. No, and I know. So, but my point is, like, there's nothing wrong with really wanting the new stuff, but I think it's a sad thing that the developers think that as soon as the new thing came out, everyone in the world's like, well, I'm done with everything old. I know. But it's like, well, there's still some really good stuff on these old consoles, like Metal Gear Solid and stuff that you would never be able to play. That's really cool. I know. It seems awesome. That you'd never be able to play as soon as they just destroy this system. Look at how awesome he looks. That is really cool. And also, he has, like, an active camouflage suit in this game where, like, it's designed to hide him easier because he's older. Right. And he has a harder time doing all this stuff. The thing with this, um, I don't want to spoil tons of stuff for you, but you know how Snake is genetically engineered? Yeah. He was engineered to age more rapidly at a certain point in his life, like the clone troopers from Star Wars. Right. Because they didn't want Solid Snake to fall into enemy hands, and he was never supposed to leave Shadow Moses, for example. Yeah. So, like, his lifetime was limited. Um, so, right now, he's not actually, like, 50 to 60, but he looks like he is because of his body breaking down. Yeah, he's probably like 30 or something. I think but. he's in his 30s, yeah, but... Um, a box! Oh, yeah. I, I don't remember if he uses that here or not, but I think he does. Or soon. 
I don't really remember this part of the game very much. I oh yeah, this is the stealth camouflage thing. I thought okay. it was awesome. I thought he was going to use the box, personally. Well, he might have. I don't even remember, but... Or maybe they see the box and think he's in there or something. They're going to smoke that. Invalid target. <laughs> nice. Was there, like, oh. cocaine in there? I don't know what's in there. Oh, you can change, like, the camera angles during the cutscenes. It's interactive. It's like GTA's thing. Oh, and, watermelons. Yeah, like how we stomped on that one. That's where I got that idea. Oh, okay. No, nice. I'm just kidding. But... <laughs> Whoa. By the way, surprisingly, doesn't this still look decent? I think this looks really good. PS3 game, yeah. I, I actually think it looks really good. And I'm, like, weirdly turned on by those legs. Even though you're, like, the Dino Crisis guy. Isn't that awesome? The yeah. active camouflage suit. That's really cool. How many, like, credits do they need? <laughs> uh, quite a few. Hey, I mentioned John Smith, our guy that got food for everyone, and it also was in this game. <laughs> it's like, okay. <laughs> Thanks. I mean, I can skip to... I just wanted to show you the cool cutscene with the... No. I just wanted to show you the with cool cutscene with the camouflage, yeah. Well, it was pretty cool. I was always pissed that you couldn't play as old Snake in Smash. Why not? Like, why isn't that a skin? You okay? Or are you just, like, well, I'm just saying, like, why isn't that a skin? Like, I was is, so mad. All it is is MGS2. You get mad at the dumbest shit of all time. You don't get to sit here and lecture well, hey, me. Well, hey, now. <laughs> you don't need to call me out. It'll here. be like, this Falcon Funko doesn't show his wings good enough. I'm so angry. <laughs> Okay, you're the one that takes like a rag and wipes down your phone calls because you sound like a little mark. This is about you, not me. <laughs> no, you're the one on trial here. Apparently I am. Are you Q from Star Trek? Oh, wait, you won't watch that because you're uncultured. Wow. Yeah, that's right. I like, uh, We're going there. I like Star Wars better. Yeah, well. Even though the two franchises really have nothing to do with each other. Do you other, like when they fired Gina space. Carano for having an opinion? I did. Got him. I did. Nice, yeah. look at that ass. It's kind of flat. We're just going to skip this. Okay. All right. All right. Okay. Don't worry. There's plenty of codec in this, too. Is that Otacon? Yeah. He's not, like... He's not, like, into anime as much. No, he, I'm kind of he's upset. more of a normal person now. I'm really upset by that. Octo Camo, an advanced camouflage suit inspired by the mimicry ability of the octopus. If the wearer lies or doesn't move... Blah, 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 pressed up against the wall. It can imitate the color and surface, fooling both the naked eye and infrared sensors. I feel like he's just obsessed with, uh, uh, Kojima's just obsessed with the word naked. Isn't that cool, though? Yeah. So. Yeah, that is really cool. I always thought that was awesome. They do a good job. And, like, it works very well on most surfaces. Right. I don't know how it works on doors. I don't remember. Oh, oh that's kind of cool. Just kind of a general thing. Yeah, that's cool. I am. I'm not playing my new game plus one. I guess so. I don't know. I don't remember if you can like wear a mask or something in that. You can do something. One thing that's cool is the attention to detail. So, like for example, when Snake is crouched, I accidentally uh, ended it. But he'll be sitting here, right? And there's times where he'll like reach back and kind of like touch his back because it hurts. Yeah. Because he's old. Right. You know, just stuff like that. I always thought that that was really cool. It's not doing it right now. Yeah. But there's a lot of details like that in this game, just like there was in MGS1. Yeah, that is really cool. We put a lot of time into this. Yeah. In our, like, Metal Gear Solid 4 Let's Play we're doing right now. <laughs> Sorry, we're not going to play it much more. I just wanted to look at it. No, I'm it's cool. Sorry. It is really cool. I, I am excited to play this. At some point? Yes. It's really fun. Petro Bomb. Oh. <laughs> I, are you sure it's not called, like, Mr. Dick and Balls or something? Like, Peter... <laughs> like Ralph Peter Boner. Was, yeah. <laughs> the show. Mr. Oh, Dick and Balls? That's, like, <laughs> not at all what it was. Yeah. Hey, it's me, Ralph Boner. Hey, it's Mr. Dick and Balls. <laughs> that kill was very epic. I just... I don't know. I really love this game. That's the only reason I was pointing it out. Yeah, this, no, this is really cool. Okay, wait, it, we need we need camouflage. It looks a lot more fun than the original uh, Metal Gear Solid. 
Which, I mean, which the original Metal Gear Solid was fun. I'm not dissing that. I know you're saying not. it does look a lot more fun than that. I love the original, but yeah, I also love four. Honestly, I just love oh geez. oh geez, I just love Snake's character in four. Yeah, Snake's really cool. I like what how you flashed on? all these things that you see through your life. <laughs> they really like outdo themselves on him dying in this one. Yeah, that that's really cool. But let's move to something else here real quick. Okay. I like the idea. So, by the way, I'm not making fun of people with epilepsy, but I like the idea that they that they put that on there. And they think, like, kids who have issues with epilepsy would be like, oh, man, I want to play Sly Cooper. I'm going to call my doctor. Hey, can I play Sly Cooper? Like, I'm assuming the doctor will not know what that is. What if he's just like, yeah, play it because he's tired of you calling him? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> He's like, okay, yeah, that make, should be fine. Make sure to turn the brightness up on your TV <laughs> all the way. And yes, play it. Because <laughs> he's like, finally, this kid will stop calling me. Jeez. He's like a heartless bastard of a doctor. <laughs> a sucker punch. Oh, he's from France? Yeah. Do you get to meet Remy? LeBeau? The, no, the from Ratatouille. P Star? From you know who Remy LeBeau is? Yeah, Gambit. How do we have a trophy? Or wait, I meant Lemmy, Remy LaCroix. The uh, oh. adult film star. I don't know who that is, but Remy LeBeau is Gambit. Oh, this is Remy LaCroix. Oh yeah, I don't know. Do you wish you did though? Click the second one. Press start. Let's just play a couple minutes with the first one. It's okay. Jeez. Fly! Come in! Fly! Do you read this character gets a lot better I in the second you. game. They all do. Okay. That's why I wanted to start it too. Sorry, I'm a little nervous trying to break into police headquarters. Sly! Get over it, Come in sight of me, Sly! I'm a thief here. I've got to steal that file. Why'd you go right home? there? That's what he said. He's like, come, come in me. He said, you come in. <laughs> um, so here's the thing with this, by the way. This franchise, one, is amazing, and they completely forgot about it. And two, it's a real shame that a lot of these old games can only be played on PS3, you know? Yeah. Like, this is a PS2 franchise. It didn't get a remaster for PS4. Right. It just got left here. Yeah, I find that kind of weird. I I always thought... They have four Sly Coopers, right? Yes. I've always thought, like, a, like they did with Crash Bandicoot 4... They should do a Sly Cooper 5. Yeah. Like for the PS4 or something. I've always thought they could do that. But it does seem kind of weird that they just forgot about this. Yeah, they just left it behind. Yeah, because I remember... I mean, I never owned Sly Cooper just because I, I never really had a PlayStation game at all. Or a console, I, bet, I, I think mean. I've seen things. Must but... Be or something. Can you see those crazy I'm like lights? platinum the game for you. <laughs> I know, thank you. Even though it's just going to sit there because I'm not going to play it for a while. <laughs> Sorry, I was looking at Remy LaCroix. Oh, it's okay. That's you think fine. she's pretty? Okay. She's okay. Yeah. Oh, interesting. But yeah, so I think it's... I think it's sad because I remember this I remember this game being really popular back in the day. And a lot of people really liked it and stuff, but... Um, you didn't get to play it. I never got to play it. You were a poor, disenfranchised child in the poor. bad neighborhood. And I was very poor. To play it. But I think it's sad that PlayStation just didn't care about it anymore. Yep. Like they were like, yeah, uh, well, um, yeah, we don't care about that anymore. You... Oh, nice. I was going to say, you just I went don't know what right... I did. <laughs> well, you were supposed to dive through the lasers to not <laughs> set them off. Nice job, you're in. Oh, jeez. Wow, that was a snipe. You know, a lot of franchises, by the way, old games were left on the PS3 like this game. Um... The Ratchet and Clank games are another one. One, two, and three. It's yeah. like you either play them on PS3, or sorry, PS2. I have to start back here. Or you play them on this on the remaster. Yeah. This franchise was really, or this console was really good for remastering the last generation's games. Yeah. And PS4 was really bad for it for yeah. no reason. Now, granted, with Ratchet and Clank, they did actually make another one that was on. The PS4. Right. Well, and then, then they are making one. Yeah. But, but, uh, yeah, it. There was some older Ratchet and Clank games that definitely could have 
gotten a remaster for the PS4 or even the PS5. You know, they still can go back and do them. Yeah, I'm not but, sure why they didn't. It's a shame. Yeah. But they just kind of left them there to rot. Yep. It would be nice to get past this part. So you already did that. Okay. So now apparently it's just the part where you run away. No. Yeah. And you just need to not get shot at all. Yeah, come my lady here wants to like shoot me. Yeah. It's supposed to be designed where you can easily avoid it, but you're bad. So well, yes, yeah. so it's the game's fault now. Well, anyway, it's interesting. I mean, that's how they met. Then they sort of become a crew, and they get together, and they're going after those pages. And you go through all these different areas and locales and fight different villains, and then eventually you fight the main villain at the end. Okay. Um, and they're all kind of like that. Like, every Sly game has, like, these sub-episodes mm -hmm. with their stories, and they all tie together into, like, a main villain at the end. That's pretty cool. cool. It's really cool. Um, that's really neat. Again, I've never played the fourth one, but I know that just in general, they're really interesting. This is your safe house. That was a nice piece of work back there. I feel like this turtle is like just Come here because Sly felt bad movies. for him. He reminds me of Peppy. Peppy. Oh, Peppy from Star Fox? Fox? Yeah, Peppy. Do a barrel roll, Fox! I do kind of want you to see, though, like, how cool this is. Like, you have a hideout. In I've each game, you have a hideout. Okay. And then you can... There's no point to really talk to Murray. He just does different stuff at different times. But okay. you can, like, go to the mission thing. And then next up, we're heading... I don't remember where, but... I don't remember okay. if it's the Voodoo Swamp or what, but then they have more, you know... Okay. Cool, he has, like, a Storm Tracer van there. <laughs> it's a really cool van. We should make that in GTA. We should make that van. One thing I like is that they give a backstory to every villain. Yeah, that's Even, cool. I know it's like a frog, right? But like they give a backstory to every villain, and it feels well thought out and interesting. Yeah. Um, this, for Sucker Punch, this and Infamous are so good. And I think next time we play PS3, you and I are going to play a few minutes of Infamous, too. But Yeah. You'll be done. Sure.